What a gimbal allows us to do is manipulate the ship. It simulates the ship being on water, basically, with movement, you know, port to starboard and bow to stern. Those big things there are the hinges that get put into here, basically like your very big Lego set, right? You gotta put it together, they attach the hydraulics. Good. We had to design and we had to create this monster in three months. It starts out in an art department request. You know, they, uh -huh. they'll tell you what they're planning to do. Like we, we talked about uh, storyboards. Yeah. They go over, we need to have this particular look, and they may even progress to the previous stage mm -hmm. to where they'll have it, you know, a computer animated, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll look at the motions that they're wanting. Then comes the actual building of it. We had 150 special effects welders on this project, and we were working 24-7. Building the gimbal, we're starting off with the level beams and making the main outer frame out of half-inch wall by six-inch square tubing. Like I say, there's over a million pounds of steel. Some of the steel, it, it didn't exist. A company in um, Arkansas made some of the I-beams for us for the base. The hydraulics team actually, I mean, they just stepped up to the plate. There's over 2,000 feet of hydraulic hose. Everybody on this project, all 150 of the special effects guys that worked on this project, gave us 150%. And it's quite an honor because there's a lot of other guys they could have gone to, but they chose our team. 